The Japanese red reishi mushroom has been used for thousands of years in traditional medicine for a wide range of health conditions. This highly revered herb has many amazing benefits for our mind and body, including reducing stress, balancing energy levels, and supporting our immune system. What many people don't know about red reishi products is that they are not produced equally. The quality of reishi products greatly varies depending on the part of the mushroom that is used and also how it is grown. Let's first review the mushroom's life cycle. It begins with the spore. Given the proper growing conditions, the spore will germinate into mycelium and eventually grow into a young fruiting body. Over time, the fruiting body will fully mature and release its spores into the environment, therefore restarting the life cycle. Now that we know the cycle, why does it matter? Firstly, the cap and stem of the red reishi mushroom are considered to be the fruiting body. This is what contains all of the major medicinal compounds such as beta-glucans and ganoderic acids that red reishi is well known for. High quality red reishi products require that the mushrooms grow to full maturity for it to be truly beneficial. How is red reishi actually grown? In the wild, red reishi is rare and found only in dense forests with hot and humid climates. The quality of wild reishi is inconsistent due to many different reishi varieties and also its vulnerability to pollution and insect infestations. This prevents it from growing to full maturity. Due to the demand of reishi, methods that are quick and inexpensive to mass produce reishi are now commonly used. One of the methods is called wood pulp. In this method, red reishi is grown in a medium of wood pulp inside plastic bags or glass bottles. The fruiting bodies produced from this method are frail and small. They also contain a low amount of medicinal compounds. Another common method is a lab-grown reishi using mycelium. In this method, reishi mycelium is mixed with a wheat or rice medium and left to grow in a container for a short amount of time. Lab-grown products are not considered equals to that has been used in traditional medicine for thousands of years. Also, studies have shown that lab-grown reishi does not contain all of the health beneficial compounds such as ganoderic acid, which makes reishi so special as a supplement. In the 1970s, the Mayuzimi family of Japan discovered a method to consistently produce red reishi in its natural environment within a greenhouse. The natural woodlog cultivation method first involves inoculating Mayuzumi's Japanese red reishi strain in aged oak wood logs. The logs are then buried in nutrient-rich soil. This entire process takes nearly a year to grow high-quality, fully mature red reishi. Most importantly, absolutely no chemicals or pesticides are used. To demonstrate the importance of the cultivation methods for reishi, let us compare these two red reishi mushrooms. They are both considered fruiting bodies of the red reishi, yet they look completely different. This small and fragile reishi was cultivated using the wood pulp method, while this high quality reishi was grown using natural woodlog cultivation. When choosing a reishi product, always look for the medicinal ingredients listed on the product box. If it says Ganoderma lucidum fruiting body, like it does on the Mikkei packaging, then you're on the right track to choosing a high quality reishi product. Choose Mike to be assured that you have the world's best and most effective supplement that uses the fruiting body of a high quality red reishi.